Hi there, it's Chris here from Technify Networks. In this video, I'm going to be showing us how to configure VRLP with interface tra tracking. So basically, we've I'm going to put the link of my VRLP configuration video in the description box of this video. So basically, what we're trying to do here is to explain to you that we've got VRLP running already. So and on this interface, this is the master router. So I'm just going to put the label there to make it easier. Okay, this is the master at the moment. And then we've got this router as the backup. So this is the backup. So at the moment, if anything happens to this interface here, if anything happens to interface fast it's an it's one slash zero, all our packets going towards this place will be dropped. And we don't have you know redundancy for that. We don't have traffic will not fail over onto the backup router. So I'm just gonna demonstrate that quickly. I'm gonna bring up the PC, I'm gonna do continuous ping. So I'm gonna ping a dot a dot a dot eight iPhone T continuously. So I'm gonna go to router one and then I'm gonna say exit and I'm gonna go interface F one slash zero. So I'm gonna say shut down, I'm gonna shut it down. So we go to our PC. So as we can see, the packets are being dropped and it's not failing over to the backup router. This is not assuming the role of a master now because VRRP at the moment is only working on this interface on our default gateway. So it's unaware of this interface. If anything happens to this interface, our router will st still keep sending our packets here on behalf of the virtual router. So what we're gonna do is to bring this back up and then we're gonna leave this ping in. So we go to router one. We're, we're gonna leave it as it is. Or what we'll do, yeah, we, we can just say no shot. So, we bring in a backup and we can see traffic is now going through that place again. So what we'll do now is to, is to, okay, let's shut it down again. So, and we'll see if we do show, okay, do show VRP all. This router is still the master. The state is still the master. So, and traffic is being dropped. So, we're just gonna exit. Okay, let's do no shot again. So then we exit. So here the traffic is going again. So we're gonna track, we're gonna be tracking this interface. And what we're gonna do to that interface, the power ID is 150 at the moment on this router. So we can say do show VRRP all. You can see our current power ID is 150. So on the default power ID, default VRRP power ID is 100. So we left it as 100 on the backup router. So we're just gonna go to global configuration mode. We're gonna go to the global configuration mode, bringing this up. So yeah, we are in global configuration mode. So we're gonna say track. Let's say track, then we name the track number. We can use question mark to see it. Yeah, we wanna track object. So let's say we name it track 10. Then we're gonna do question mark again. Then the interface we want to track, we can use interface. And then we can say F, fast ethernet, and this this interface here. 
that's f one four slash zero so is the line protocol that we want to actually yeah facetonet one slash zero still put the f so is the line protocol that we want to track on this occasion so we say line protocol and that's the command for that so what we're gonna do we're gonna exit and then we go to our interface to our gateway now f0 slash 0 so we say interface f0 slash 0 so then we're gonna say vrrp then our group number is 15 then we're gonna say track the track number is 10 then it's got to be I think decrement yeah so decrement so every time what we're gonna say to it is every time this interface goes down we want our priority to decrease let's say to 90 so 150 minus 60 is gonna be 90 so then we're just gonna say 60 and that's the command so let's say do right so if we bring this interface down now we are doing a continuous ping traffic is gonna fail over to the router 2 to the backup the backup router will become the master router so we're gonna demonstrate that we're gonna exit this interface and then we're gonna go to interface f1 slash 0 and then we're gonna do shot to shut it down so we're gonna see it's gonna transition here down and it's now become a backup router and then the traffic is not being dropped again maybe two packets were dropped and then we'll see that router 2 is now the master from the syslog message we can see already so we can just what we can just do is to say show vrrp all and as you can see we can see the state is master so another thing we can do on router one is to look at the power ready so we'll see now that show okay we are now in the right prompt so we say do show vrrp all so we can see that our power ID is now 90. So it was 150, but it's decreased to 90. Because we've told it to decrease the priority yet, we can see what we did. Track object, track object 10 stayed down, decrement 60. So from 150, it's decreased by 60, and then it's gone to 90. So yeah. So that should be it basically and if we go here and say do show VRRP brief PR so we can see as well that the priority is 90 here and yeah so the backup and we can see the state is backup and then the master is the router 2 that's the IP address of that router the IP address of the default gateway of that router and if we do a trace route here we will see that our traffic is being sent on behalf of the virtual router by router 2 so we can do trace 8.8.8.8 so we can see the first stop is 10.3 so and that's about that so we're just gonna bring it back up and then it's gonna become the master router again so let's say no shots so it's gonna become the master again so yeah the status change to the master so if we if we do this now and then say show rrp brief so we can see the power ready is now back to 150 and then the state is master and then the master address which is the ip address of this default gateway and then the group address is the virtual IP address which we have here. So if you find this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. See you in the next video. Bye for now.